Hello friends, hello YouTube, my name is Paul, Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango and I'm very happy to show you something a little special what is happening on the ham radio bands and today when I was uh, working a few stations and DXing on 20 meters I met something different when I used to see and it was this call sign in the waterfall yeah it's was transmitted by the Foxtrot one echo Victor Zulu the guy from uh, from France and I was very close to this frequency when I was working uh, DX and I've seen that and I didn't believe to my own eyes that what is happening on the ham radio bands that I can see the call sign uh, right into the uh, uh, waterfall on my receiver <laughs> and then I see that the SSTV signal here on the left side or the SSB signal here on the right side this is okay but the call sign yeah it was really weird for me so I started to investigate more because I was really interested in because it looks so funny here <laughs> so I asked to a few of my friends if they if they knew something about this about this thing and of course we have found a solution how to do that for you so let's start it So welcome back and uh, let's see how to make the um, or how to put your call sign on the waterfall. So if you click on the link uh, which is right below this video in the video description, you will find the AMSAT slash DL and the English version right now and you will see a very nice and really ha very helpful description how to put your call sign on the waterfall written by Delta Delta Zero Kilo Papa by Mr. Hainer yours so thank you very much for help uh, with this uh, my question how to make this thing so, if you uh, click on this link here, this is the uh, www.skytopia.com software Sonic Photo, you will find this website with very interesting software where, um, which you can download here from this side. So, if you, if you download the software which name is Sonic Photo, in this case version 1.3, it's the demo version, but uh, it's it's uh, really okay for this what we need to do. So after download and install the software, you will uh, see uh, you will see something like this. Okay, so here you can see this um, software, and here you can see the settings what you should to have to set of course on the website on the original website where um, delta delta zero kilo papa has written uh, mr heiner has written also the settings he he put the uh, screenshot here and his settings are here i will put my screenshot because i found that a few settings should be a little better to do uh, an another way. Okay, so I adjusted a few things and now I think it's really fine for me. So here you can see we can start with the uh, upper corner of the settings, rotate, flip X, X and flip Y. You can set by yourself. 
Uh, it depends on the SSB mode. If you work in USB or if you work in LSB, I found that you have to click on flip Y to change um, the direction of the text. You can find that uh, if you work um, LSB, you have to um, you have to click here on on this box. The others are blank, and down in the lower portion of the settings, you will see the volume 0 0.4, which is somewhere in the middle, and you have to get a clear audio signal, not distorted audio signal out from this software. So the fade in, fade out are on zero, stereo on zero. Quality waves is maximum 400, which is a maximum value allowed for the demo version of the software. And sound time on 10, this is also uh, the maximum duration of the sound of the demo version. And the lowest frequency and the highest frequency I've set on 300 and the maximum on 2000. You can use also 2400. It depends on the wide or on the width of your transmitting uh, signal. Uh, I recommend to use 300 to, to uh, 2000, which is okay. Brightness 0 0.75 tone on zero. Here you can see on the right side 0 0.4 is the feeder and also here 0 0.4. Harmonics are set on zero, step on one and H tone on 0 0.04. These are all main settings what you have to set here on this in this program. The next uh, step is to make a Mm, a picture with the words uh, which you want to um, transmit. So you can you can actually you can transmit uh, also some picture, not just uh, not just um, uh, words. Um, how to do that? So we need to open a paint program in Windows. I'm sure that you know this program is just a classic paint painting and now um, then in this program we have to um, click on this rectangle rectangular um, shape of the object we can uh, draw this object here but uh, we have to choose the uh, black color of the object so this will be the uh, background. Then we have to choose the um, uh, words uh, button and we have to choose the uh, white color and we will writing with the uh, white characters into the black box. So let's say uh, I will write Oscar Mike uh, Zero Echo Tango. If you like uh, to, oh man, okay. If you like to put uh, the picture, you can um, put here the picture, but the picture have to be only white lines. Uh, and these white lines have to be seen on this black background. All right, so now we have to save this uh, picture. So go to File and Save. Of course, this is in my language. So I saved, or maybe I will save to um, click on to Save As and save this file into JPEG. Uh, picture, let's say Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango and the JPEG. Yeah, I, I, there is exist one, so I have to rewrite. So now you can put down this uh, thing, open the 
original file Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. I have it here on the uh, desktop. I can open this uh, file in my uh, picture editor. Uh, I'm using the X and View Classic, as you can see here in the corner. And this is a very useful program. I use this uh, program very often for the other um, things like uh, uh, photo editing. And then we have to cut. We have to cut this only these words out from the picture. Okay. This picture we have to save. So it's save, rewrite, okay. It's saved and we can put this window down and we are back on the beginning. Okay, so now we can open again the program Sonic Photo. All settings were, were done. And now the final thing is to load the picture which we created a while ago. So load the picture, we can open. I have <laughs> prepared many others, but um, we can go to uh, desktop, open the Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Okay. You can see that the, the flip Y is set and these words are upside down. This is okay. Alright, everything is okay. Now we have to um, push the uh, save project. If you push the save project, this project will be saved into your local uh, storage and you can use these uh, settings uh, to the future in the next days. So when the project is saved, now we have to do two important things. And we have to connect the computer with my transceiver. And we have to set my computer um, to be able to send the sound from this program to USB cable into my transceiver and we have to open the uh, uh, sound devices manager like here this is in my language of course so we can see the uh, uh, input devices no this is the output devices and we can see the speakers this is the local speaker and this is the USB cable speaker or speaker like. Uh, my transceiver ICOM 7610 has integrated um, sound card and it's uh, working through the USB cable. So I have to select the USB cable and I uh, set as default. So now the program created uh, will create a sound and the sound will be uh, sent into the uh, USB cable to my transceiver. The second thing is we have to set my transceiver input. Uh, we have to change the input from the microphone to USB input and then the audio file or the audio sound will be transferred directly through the USB cable into the USB input in my transceiver and the sound will be generated and transmitted in the SSB mode. So for this I will show you how to set uh, this transceiver ICOM 7610 and I suppose that the ICOM 7300 should be the same. Okay, so here we have the screen of my ICOM 7610 transceiver. And now we have to connect my computer uh, audio output with my transceiver audio input. Uh, computer has been set and now we have to go to menu 
we have to push the set button here we have to push the connectors and now we have to push the uh, mode input and data off mode because we are using SSB modulation we have to go to data off mode and currently I have set my transceiver to microphone so I will change it to USB so the sound card now in my transceiver is set on the USB input sent from my computer so I go back to the initial screen and I will large the screen you will see much better uh, the waterfall and now I will show you how to send the words right onto waterfall okay so I did uh, one small additional settings you can see here I set the gamma in my case uh, to a bigger number in my case it's just about 30 uh, points and the uh, uh, the picture is much clearer so it means that the output signal will be also clear with the, uh, without noise now we have to uh, push the PTT button on transceiver so push the PTT button now transceiver now is waiting for audio signal from my computer and we can push the create or play sound on the software and now let's see how it looks like beautiful and again <laughs> that's really nice okay guys thank you very much for watching this video I hope it's uh, getting helpful for you and I hope that I will see maybe your signals next time in uh, uh, on my uh, uh, spectrum scope on my waterfall will be fun thank you guys for watching I wish you 73 and I hope you have you will have a great a new year 2021 so uh, if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe to my channel or give me the uh, thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one 73 bye bye